friends, welcome back. All right, so today's video, I am not going to be planning. Um, instead, I am doing something that I never ever thought I would do. Um, if you read the title, when you clicked on this video, you can see I am attempting to go 48 hours without my MacBook Pro. Now, I've had my share of tablets. I bought a first gen iPad when they first came out. So I've had my iPad Pro for probably four or five months now. And before that, um, I bought the iPad 9.7 with uh, Apple Pencil support. And that was in May of last year when I started my shop. So I have felt always that I don't really use my iPad to its full potential. I mean, I use it to plan, which is exactly why I bought it. Um, I use it to animate and I will use it occasionally for editing a photo and that's pretty much it. Um, I have an iPad mini that I use when I'm like watching YouTube videos or watching Netflix. Um, and then for everything else, I either use my phone for like Facebook or, you know, social media essentially, but, um, hardcore editing, hardcore, um, photo editing, video editing, um, photoshopping, all of that, browsing the internet. I use my MacBook Pro. So I decided that for this weekend, I was going to go cold turkey, no MacBook, um, and just do everything on my tablet with the exception of, um, like my phone is the exception. Like I can look up stuff on my phone. I can, you know, watch a YouTube video on my phone, whatever, but main function, everything else is going to be done on my iPad pro. So a few things I did in preparation for this was, um, I had a few, there's one software in particular that I cannot duplicate on here, which, um, doesn't affect anything really, but it's for, uh, my other Etsy shop. It's the silhouette cameo software. Um, so everything that had to be done for that, I did Friday. And then I, um, anything that I felt that I would need for this weekend that is only stored locally on my iPad or my MacBook, I uploaded to the cloud so that I could get whatever files I might potentially need onto my iPad this weekend. So yeah, not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. Um, I'm a tech junkie. I, I love my MacBook, I love my phone, I love my tablet, you know, they all kind of work together for me. So why am I doing this? Well, I really think that there is a lot that the iPad can do that I'm not doing with it. So I want to be able to say, cause in uh, September, for example, we're taking a trip with my in-laws. Usually I pack my Nikon, I pack my Sony, I pack my laptop. You know, I have the cables, the lenses, the batteries, this whole big shebang. So um, I would like to just grab my iPad Pro, grab my camera and any cable, you know, uh, adapters that I would need. Um, my husband for Mother's Day got me a small ring light so that I can do this portably. Obviously I'm in my usual setup right now, but you know, it's for me, it's all about portability, making this whole situation totally portable. Um, and I'm really excited to do that. I'm, I'm excited to be at the end of this experiment. Um, I will admit last night, shutting down the MacBook, putting it in the drawer. Yep. Was a little nerve-wracking but 
I did it. And yeah, here we go. 40. Hey guys. All right. So I am sitting outside on this actually cold day. Um, so I just wanted to kind of come on here and let you know some of the issues that I have had this morning already with um, only using my tablet for 48 hours. So, and uh, these ears are my mood today. But um, so this morning I was doing my, um, or I did my regular uh, like daily spread in my memory planner. And I wanted to um, edit one of my stickers. So I, first I was like, okay, well, I'll just do this in Procreate. Well, it turns out Procreate can't do what I needed. So I switched um, to Affinity and I, <laughs> I know Photoshop in and out, right? Um, Affinity I've used twice. So I know that the functionality is there. I just don't know where to find it. So I was able to use my phone to look up how to do the things I needed to do, which I finally got there. But let me tell you, it took me maybe three times as long to do my memory planner than it does any other day. Um, so that was one thing. And then what was the other one? Oh, um, so the other one was, uh, usually when I edit my videos, I edit in Final Cut Pro 10, um, and, or, uh, Premiere. So I was, uh, wanting to edit a video that I, um, had taken of me and the kids yesterday when we went hiking. And, um, obviously I can't use my computer. So last night in anticipation of this, rather than putting all of my clips on my computer, I put them all on my tablet and I was like, well... I mean, you got to learn sometime, right? So I put all my clips on my tablet last night. And then this morning I sat down to edit. And this is where I am pleasantly surprised. Um, editing, because I was using LumaFusion, editing in LumaFusion was so much easier than I thought it would be. I did have um, a little bit of trouble with uh, transitions. But again, a quick search on my phone, I was able to figure out, I found a YouTube video that showed me how to do it. And once I learned, it's actually easier to do in LumaFusion than it is to do in Final Cut or Premiere. So that was a really welcome and cool surprise. Um, it is right now only 8.30 and I'm already having all these things. Um, getting up this morning, um, I came out, I sat, got my coffee, I sat down at my desk and I was like, crap, now what? <laughs> it's like my whole day has been so thrown off just by not having my laptop. So a few hours later, I'm still hanging in there. I haven't touched it. Um, I have had to look up some stuff like my son's switch wasn't working, his docking station for his switch. So I was like, crap. So I had to look that up. Normally I would just sit down on my computer, look it up, but I didn't do that. I sat down with my tablet. I looked it up. I got it done. Uh, I was able to fix it. So that's good. Um, but yeah, so day one, we got this. Hey, good morning guys. All right. So, um, yeah. It is just before 5 a.m. Um, this is not unusual for me. This is when I usually get up to get my stuff done. Um, but I've been working on my tablet this morning. I got up and I was actually excited to get to work. Um, yesterday when I woke up, it was more of a, uh-oh, what do I do? Um, this morning, after having a day of really trying to get in and get a feel for it under my belt, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm in this, let's do it. So I have not done my memory spread yet for yesterday, but what I have done is gone in to infinity and really tried to, um, to learn what it can and can't do when it comes to creating digital content. And so far, everything that I do in Photoshop, I have been able to recreate in Infinity, which is awesome. Um, I've been making some like test stickers, essentially, um, and just like some film edit upload type. And 
I'm pretty impressed so far with how well it's working. Um, now, it is a slow process, I'm not gonna lie. The first one that I made, it it took me a little while. Um, just because, like, where Affinity puts uh, features is so different than where Photoshop puts its features. So I have to stop and keep looking up stuff. Um, but making, because I've made three stickers so far, the first one, I had to look up every single step of the way. Like, okay, here's my text thing, but how do I do this? How do I change this? Um, and then I had to import my image and uh, then I had to, okay, so how do I merge layers? And then how do I, um, how do I paste? Is this a full-time replacement for Photoshop right now? Probably not just because I don't know it that well. Um, being under the restriction of not being allowed to use my MacBook, this is a fabulous alternative. I'm creating stickers that are right on par with the quality of stickers that I create in Photoshop. The problem is that it is painstakingly slower. But But that's not the tablet's fault. That's my knowledge base. If I keep at this and get it, you know, get the routine down, I think that this can be as quick as doing it on the uh, on the MacBook. So that was a cool thing this morning to uh, to wake up to. So I'm gonna get on to creating my uh, memory spread. Hopefully that goes well too. All right guys, I'll check in with you later. All right, you guys, it is getting close to bedtime on Sunday night. I have gone about 48 hours without using my MacBook Pro, only using my iPad Pro and occasionally my phone as far uh, as for as my primary technology devices. Um, the first thing that I learned was that I can pretty much do on my iPad anything that I can do on my MacBook. Um, but for me, just because of how much experience I have on my laptop, it's a lot slower of a process. Um, that's not, again, the fault of the tablet. The tablet could keep up and then some. It's more of me struggling to catch up to what it can do. Um, I also learned, and this one really shocked me, uh, that when I'm like browsing the internet or looking up something or working with my movie software, I have my tablet propped up in landscape mode with my Bluetooth keyboard in front of it, as one would do. And, um, it was, and I never thought I would say this, it was a real pain in the butt to open my planner and then have to turn it so that it was in portrait orientation. When, you guys know I'm a portrait orientation planner through and through, but I think that I might try, just try, to do a week as a landscape orientation just to see how it goes. Uh, because having the tablet sitting up like a, a computer would sit, if my planner had been in portrait mode, I think I would have gotten, it would have been a lot smoother of a workflow, if that makes sense. Uh, that said, I it wasn't a big deal to just, you know, two finger zoom on what I needed. It wasn't, it wasn't a big deal, but I did feel like I had to mention it in the interest of full disclosure and admitting where I may be wrong in some cases. 
Um, but the thing that I learned the most, I think the, what I got the most out of this was that when I sat down to work on my iPad, I was doing it with a lot more purpose and a lot more intention. Like I would spend so much time just sitting in front of my laptop, just randomly scrolling through websites or checking my Facebook, whatever, you know, social media accounts, just randomly just scrolling through. Whereas when I sat down with my iPad, I was doing something, you know, I was either trying to figure out how to do something, I was actively working on something, or I was learning things. So like I did, I don't feel like I wasted a lot of time this weekend. Um, whereas with the MacBook, and again, this is probably just because I know it so well, I, I kind of shut off a little when I'm working on it. But with the tablet, I was very present and I was very focused on what I was doing. And I think that boosted my, um, the amount of knowledge that I gained from, you know, just, it was two days, you guys. And I, I have learned more in these two days about this tablet than I have in the entire, I don't know, three or four months that I've had it. Um, before that, I had the iPad 9.7 which I, I really don't think that I truly learned that one either. Um, I, I think I'm going to keep going with this, not um, as strictly, but like, because like I mentioned earlier in, in another clip, there are things that I can't do on the tablet. Well, one thing that I can't do on the tablet and that is work related. Um, but I think that Besides that, I'm gonna keep up with this for a while longer, um, just to to really, you know, I feel like I just scratched the surface of what this can do. And let's be honest, people, if you're gonna drop that much money on an iPad, you need to you need to learn how to use it. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna keep on going. I will probably check in in another week or so and do like a follow up video. That was 48 hours without my MacBook, only using my iPad and my phone occasionally. So I, uh, I learned a lot and I encourage you guys to try this. Maybe not for two days. I mean, that was kind of extreme, but like, give it a day, give it a day, give it a try. You never know. I mean, I learned so much, you know, maybe you'll pick up something too. All right, guys, so if you like this type of video, please let me know in the comments because this was a lot of fun to do. Um, and I would totally be down for doing other stuff like this if you wanna see it. And if you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button. Um, I post playing with me videos, supply reviews, and apparently crazy stuff like this now. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.